Well guys, Scalagrim finally got his falchion. Those of you that have been following along for about a year now, Ilya and myself have been making a Venetian falchion for Scalagrim. And it's taken some time, but it's finally in his hands. And we wanted to do something special for you guys. Some of you might not be into watching six hours of us making a single sword. So we compiled all eight episodes of making the Scalchion into one short video that you can watch. Now, if you want to see all the detailed explanations of how we did things and why we did them, you're still going to have to go back and watch that eight part series of how we did all that. This is just going to be a quick video to uh, show you how we got where we got with the falchion and then do some testing at the end. So sit back and enjoy. Our blade is going to be a composite construction, an ADCRV high carbon cutting edge with lower carbon 1060 cheeks and spine. With the preform of the blade now complete, it's time to do some hand beveling. The smith must be quite careful in this case, since we do have high carbon edge sandwiched between some lower carbon cheeks to make sure that he forges the bevels evenly on both sides. After beveling, a little bit of grinding is necessary before we can move on to the heat treat. While I continue grinding on the blade, Ilya begins work on the guard portion of our sword. First drawing out the tines, then hot punching and drifting the slot for our tag.
create the side rings for our sword guard, we're forcing some square stock into a swage to create our initial shape, then we do the forging to finish it out. Forging the side rings to shape, a little bit of grinding is necessary to clean it up before we can assemble. With the guard now forged and ground to shape, it's time to put the final bins in the coins of the guard. Now that the grinding work is complete on the blade, it's time to heat treat, quench it, and temper. With the heat treat on the blade now complete, it's time to start the long journey of grinding this to its final shape. First starting on the spine, I grind in the notches that will later become a little bit of a different shape, and then I can move on to doing all the complex fullers on both sides of the blade.
We have our guard, we have our blade, now it's time to forge the pommel. Ilya uses a hot cut to create the fleur de lace shape, and then moves on to drawing dies to pull the neck of the pommel out. The last phase of this epic sword making journey is to create the handle. Illy is going to carve the recess where the tank fits in both pieces of wood. They will then be sandwiched together, glued up, and then we've chosen to do a wire wrapped handle. So he'll actually spiral some wire around the outside before we can say this sword is finally complete.
We've wanted to make a sword for Scalagrim for a very long time to see him test it and tell us how it performs. I think this one turned out great. I really want to say thank you to Scalagrim for coming along this journey with us. Look for a lot more with us not only on this sword and future videos, but some other future projects as well. And be sure to check out Scalagrim's full length unboxing and initial impression video. I'm going to have the link down below in the description. And as always, tell us in the comments below what you want to see this team build next. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to That Works.